Hello everyone and welcome back to Night City and to Cyberpunk 2077 with Longclaw, Valerian Steel where we always deliver. So having discovered that the defective microchip from the past which was literally blasted into my head by a bullet has slowly now eaten away at my consciousness. I am seriously in need of help before I slip away into nothing. I'm on the case trying to track down Evelyn Parker, the client who set us up with the heist job, and I've contacted her colleague Judy, and it tells me that she's missing, and I agree to meet Judy at the club to discuss this further, even if she doesn't want to. Evelyn had history with the Arasaka boss Yorinobo, and in the aftermath of the heist, Evelyn disappeared completely. Judy blames me for this somehow, and I can tell she's seriously concerned. You need to talk to her, making choices about how you deliver the questions until she gives up the location of Evelyn's supposed workplace, Clout, and then you set off to find the place. So let's see what happens. Head to the marker on the map and then enter the unit. Clouds is like a dollhouse, somewhere where clients can go to receive a simulated experience of love, amongst other things. The girls, or dolls, are jacked in and controlled by the mainframe. I guess they're programmed to tell you whatever you want to hear. Ask the receptionist about Evelyn. And she will tell you that she's unavailable. And you can go back and forth with her until Johnny, your relic personality, which is weird. Anyway, he tells you to go in as a customer and then start looking around. So jack in, hire a girl and head off to the nearest designated booth. When you get inside, you will find your girl, your doll, waiting for you. Oh yeah, you have to choose a safe word too, which will allow you to end the simulation at any time. Clouds is a weird place. The kind of service they offer is more like therapy, albeit a sexy kind of therapy. There's nothing really sinister going on if you discount the fact that these girls are plugged in and controlled by a server, which is programmed to respond to exactly whatever information they dug up when they jacked you in at reception. But you sit down and you start talking. Let the exchange unfold. She will move to the bed and you can then choose to answer her questions any way you like. Things get a bit heavy and your character seems almost lost and reluctant to leave the simulation. But eventually, when you can, after a while, you be given the chance to say your safe word. And then, back to reality. The lights will come on and the girl's going to be annoyed at you that you pulled her out of the simulation. And at this point, you can ask her about Evelyn and she will tell you which booth was Evelyn's and about her friend and colleague Tom. And you can set off to investigate them both. In Evelyn's booth, you will find a shard which shows Evelyn's last moments before she disappeared. It's clear that she experienced some kind of malfunction and was clearly corrupted during the simulation. Once you leave the booth, you will need to head to the VIP area, and this is heavily guarded. I kind of accidentally went in heavy before realising that I had to check in all my weapons at reception, so you punch your way to a weapon and then head inside the booth to talk to Tom and worry about the rising conflict outside on the way out. Tom is pretty much a useless cretin, but he does give up some information on where Evelyn may have had some work done in a clinic. And he also mentions the caretaker at Clouds, Mr. Forrest. If something had happened to Evelyn, then he would have been the one to deal with it and would know where she was taken. Head out of the booth and shoot your way towards Mr. Forrest's office, picking up weapons and ammo as you move around. Don't neglect your health either, as the checkpoints are really not close together. The shoot mechanics in this game are okay, but there are literally hundreds of weapons and you can carry a bunch of them, but you need to equip these in the menu first before you can use them. Follow the map and work your way round the building, taking out the targets as you go. When you get to Mr. Forrest's office, you have a choice to either question him or shoot him. I just took him out and went into his computer. 
Once you have the location of the doc who was tasked with taking care of Evelyn after her breakdown, you can then leave the club. Shoot your way towards the exit carefully, and there are a whole load of targets you need to take out, each with different weapons. Collecting ammo, health, and grenades is the key to making it out to street level alive. Once you get to the staircase, just head towards the exit. Probably by this point you will have taken out most of the threats and it's just a case of getting to the door. And then you need to head to the elevator where Johnny will start interacting with you and you'll get the notification that this part of the mission is now over. I hope you enjoyed this, hope it was helpful and please check out the other episodes of my Night City Stories on my channel. Take care, stay safe and I'll be back soon.